Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. My name is Angel and laying right here is Tucker. All of Tucker's information will be right there on the screen. My beautiful boy. Uh, today is Threads Thursday, which I host here on my channel here at My Heavenly Babies. And I would love if you would get your babies today dressed in tan or like a light brown and please tag me. And then we'll go over next week's color when we get this one dressed. So, yeah, I love this little one. I got him off of Reborns.com. I love the light color to him. He's a very light baby, but still done very well. He's got blushing, the creases. I mean, he's got phenomenal art, veining, mottling, the creases, the nail beds and tips and all that. He just was done extremely light. And so the artist thought that maybe because he was so light, she would sell him cheaper. She should have never done that because he is gorgeous. He's well worth more than what she did. He is a baldy, as you see, but he is a stunning, stunning baby boy. I love him. He's got rooted lashes. And yeah, we can always have the hair painted. But right now, I do love the baldness to him. I will share his art with you guys when I get done with, you know, you know when I get to the part of changing him. But first, we're going to go ahead and read the word while he sleeps. He's so tuckered out. Tucker is tuckered out. All right, today is the 19th, and it says, Why, God, why? If only my anguish could be weighted and all my misery be placed on the scales, it would surely outweigh the sand of the seas. Job 6, 2, and 3. Boy, Job, read that book, what he went through. And we want to complain, and he never complained. He still kept his faith in God. Sure, there was some complaining, wondering why it was happening, but that man lost everything, even his health but he kept his faith in God. You need to read the book of Job. Here we go. Have you ever cried out as Job did here, weighted down beyond measure with heartache and grief and anger and demanding to know why God let it happen, but not receiving an answer? If so, let me assure you, first of all, that God isn't upset or angry at you. He understands you are, your heartaches and weakness. As the psalmist said, he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. Psalms 103.14. In reality, however, we often don't know why God permits certain things to happen to us. We do know that evil is real, and we live in a world that is revenged by sickness and death and sorrow, a world that isn't the way God intended it to be. Someday Christ's victory will be complete and all that will be changed, but not yet. In the meantime, put your faith and hope in Christ. He knows what it is to suffer. He went to the cross for us. And because he did, we have hope even in the midst of life's darkest hours. Amen to that. How many times do we question, why, God, why? I've been asking God why I'm dealing with so much of this vertigo, why it's gotten so bad. And then I say, you know what, God, I can do this. I can do this, God. You know, we have to go through bad things in our life. I said, God, you know, I've, I've done things in my life, and I know I have to pay for my sins, as I know heaven is awaiting me. Um, but but there's not, you know, we're human. We're going to question sometimes, God, why? This is so bad. Please take it. Please take it from me. I mean, we know God, all he has to do is, you know, just say it's done and it's done. You know what I mean? He could take it from me, but we have to go through things. Why should I say why when other people are dying of cancer or got in a major accident and, you know, all their limbs are missing and they're trying to live in a wheelchair? You know, um, we just need to understand that things are allowed to happen to us for a reason. You know, we don't know all the reasons, but we do have to pay for our sins. We do have to pick up and bear our cross every day. And we do have to go through heartache because we live in this sin-infested world. It's so infested with sin by the devil that things are going to happen. But continue to keep your faith in God and know that things happen for a reason. And God will get you through everything. And we have to go through them. We have to weather the storm. You'll never see a rainbow without a storm. So we do have to weather the storm sometimes, which is maybe making us stronger, um, just, you know, helping us in life to have more faith. God will test our faith. We don't know why. Like, that's why it's called why, um, why God, why? You know, how many times are we asking God why? But you know what? Just continue to keep your faith in God and know that he is there, even though we have to go through hard times. We do. We have to go through them, and God knows what he's doing. Just sometimes we have to say, God, I can't take anymore, so now I'm going to let you take this one. You take the will. L uh, let go and let God. Let him deal with it with you, and he'll get you through it. If he brought you to it, he'll get you through it, is what I always say. So let's keep our trust in him, even though we go through hard times. The wisdom, there will be times, Lord, that we don't understand why we must suffer. And those moments help us focus less on why and more on who is always at work behind the scenes. 
We trust in your love for, e for us even in times of grief. So see right there where it's saying, there is t uh, there will be times, Lord, that we don't understand why we must suffer. In these moments, help us focus less on why and more on who is always at work behind the scenes. That is God, always at work behind the scenes. And we must trust in his love for us even in time of grief. So we do need to trust our Heavenly Father. He loves us and he's only here to help us. And we don't know why he is God and he allows things for a reason. We don't know we're human flesh. Let God, you know, let him do his work. He knows what he's doing in our life. But we're human and we are still going to question why. You know, I was watch um, some stuff. I was watching some stuff on Michael J. Fox, and I remember when he got Parkinson's in the beginning. He was saying, "Why me? Why me?" You know, we always want to know why. But you know what? There's people out there suffering way worse than we are, and some people suffering way worse are dealing with it way better than we are. Like Job. Job, yes, was mad and frustrated, but he dealt with it better than many people do. He lost everything: his children, his home, his farm, his money. His friends were walking away. He lost everything and his health. He was losing everything, but yet, even though he was questioning God, he kept his faith. His wife was telling him, turn from God, you know, and, and all that, but he didn't. He didn't turn from God. And yet, here we complain, here I'm complaining about vertigo. Yes, it's bad, but it makes me think about those things. It makes me think, you know, it's not so bad. There's people out there suffering worse, and we need to be praying for those people. Pray for those people in their life. All right, you guys, and then we want to start our day, go through our day, and end our day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. We want to read it, study it honor, obey, and live by it. Because that's the only way we're going to get through is knowing what God has for us. What he says in his lovely word there, we need to read it because it'll tell us things like that and help us to understand that God is still there. He's never left. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. Even in times of grief, pain, sorrow, uh, things we're going through, we just need to weather that storm and get through it. But again, we're human and God knows that. And so there's going to be times we're going to question why. All right, you guys, now on to Threads Thursday with Tucker. We're going to put Tucker in this. I got this in a box opening and I couldn't wait to put it on him. That's why I chose tan. And like I said, put your babies in tan, cream, brown, light brown, just colors like that. But it's mostly like a tan. So like a light brown, a tan, an oatmeal color, a cream color, just colors that would be uh, like that, that would coincide. This is a Baron Rabbit. It is a zero to three. That's what he wears. It's a cute little sweatshirt, but it's short sleeve. It's got smiley faces all over it in blue brown and a lighter brown and it's got the matching little pants with the faux uh, tie isn't that adorable you guys and done in such a cute color yeah i love it i loved it and i couldn't wait and i thought let's do pick tan for the next color for threads thursday so get your babies in tan and then we're gonna pair that with look at this you guys we're gonna pair it with this cute hat since he's a baldy so he's gonna wear the hat and it does match it's not showing up on there the color maybe it is but it's a tan hat and it's a bear like bear ears so that will be cute and then we're going to put on these cute little socks that are tan and white and then we're going to put these tan little tennis shoes on him how cute is this entire outfit going to look on tucker especially with that skin tone so let's get him dressed for the day how are you guys doing Glad to um, see all of you guys. Glad to be back in. And I hope you guys are doing well on this fine Thursday. Hope, oh, I'm trying to figure out how to unclip this. What's going on? Oh, wait a minute. I, oh, you lift it up. Okay. Um, I hope you guys are doing this tag. I would love that. I know I got a couple of you that do the tag. I would love if you would do my tag. Um, that's why I, you know, I do other people's tags. And I think it's so nice to do that in our community to be, you know, sticking with, um, our Dolly friends and, uh, you know, helping people out. And when you take people, it also helps their channel to grow as well. So that's why I like to do the tags. So I would love it if you guys would please um, do it, you know, this tag here, the Thread Thursdays in the color theme. So it's really easy because I'm just doing colors. So you can put, you know, the baby in that, in that color. It's usually easier just to come up with a color, you know, a color for the baby. Um, but anyway, so this week is, th is uh, the tan. So just tans, cream, like I said, oatmeal color, those colors. Look at this beauty. And I will tell you guys, um, you know, each week I'll tell you the color. So I did tell you in last week well, it was um, teal, green, or blue. And I told you the next color was tan. So I will tell you in this video what next week is so you can get prepared. But look at this beauty. Now, when you see them up close, you see why? Hang on. 
All right, you see that he has got a lot of features to him. Look at how gorgeous he is, you guys. He is stunning. Yet she just thought she did too light, but I don't think he's too light at all. Babies can be light. He's gorgeous. Look at all of this detailing on him. Why is this camera so bad? Come on, look at the detailing. There we go. Look at the details on this baby. Yet she didn't think she did good. She did phenomenal, you guys. Look at him. Oh my goodness, he is so pretty. Isn't he pretty? He's got a little scratch there. Aw, he's adorable. I got one of those wafers. He smells so good. Look at him, though. He's got the um, milk blister there. He's got rooted lashes, as you see. He is so pretty. Whoops. He is so pretty. And he's got, oh, he doesn't even have eyebrows, too. I didn't notice that. Barely their eyebrows. Beautiful. He is gorgeous. Don't you guys think he's gorgeous? He is not too light at all. Look at the cheeks, the blushing. Blushing on the chin. He's phenomenal. She didn't, you know, leave anything out. She did a nice job. She just thought she did too light. Well, I scored because she thought she did too light. She did not do too light. He is gorgeous. And of course, you can't get the jester in a video. He looks way better in person. Way better. If you saw him in person, you'd even agree more. Like, wow, he's just stunning. I can't believe she thought she didn't do a good job. Like that she did too light. He is not. And how many babies are born light? He could be a little redhead because those lashes kind of do look red. They're like a, a strawberry blonde and so are the um, eyebrows on it. So he could be a little redhead. Well, then he would be more light complected. You know, as a redhead, you would be more light. So I think if I do decide to give, you know, give him rooted hair or painted hair, I'm going to do him as a redhead because um, it would go fine with his eyebrows and that because it is kind of a strawberry blonde. Oh my gosh, is this color going to look great on him? We got these two little buttons here. So we'll unbutton those to get it over his head. But yeah, I got this in a box opening from Amanda, I believe, when I got my Graham, the Greer. I believe that's what came in there, this outfit there. And I wanted to put it on him. And I thought, oh, the tan. And easy, this will be an easy color for you guys to come up with, will be this color. Because like I said, tan, cream, oatmeal, light brown. Just keep it light, though. Keep it to the tan color. And uh, that would be the color there for you guys. But yeah, isn't this great? Because of course, one day I'll be doing a brown. So that'll be darker. But this is to those shades of colors. So yeah, hope you guys will do that for me. I would appreciate it and tag me. Um, because like I said, we want to be nice to our Dolly friends and do their tags. I know that I do a lot of tags for people. Look at this boy. Oh my gosh, I almost want to show this little faux tie and tuck it in. no i'm not gonna tuck it in because it's a little sweatshirt but it might have looked really cute but he is adorable regardless oh my goodness but yeah like and these are you don't have to untie them these are just fake looking ties they just kind of pull on but yeah like i do your guys's tags and i'm not saying i do it so you have to do mine but i just would appreciate it because it does help to draw others over to our channel and i am trying to grow this channel as well because i am an artist you know a reborn artist and trying to grow this channel for that reason too so it does help so yeah if you guys could do my tag that would be great if you would please i'd appreciate it he even has little pockets in these shorts <laughs> oh my goodness what a beautiful baby this is like the perfect color for him yes it is he is stunning let's make sure he's all in frame and he wasn't uh blurred i was worried about that isn't he adorable absolutely adorable let's give him back his monkey here yeah he looks good and now his little beads is going to match really good his little clip here let's clip this on to him his uh passy clip wait a minute i don't like that like that too close to his face we'll do it on the arm here but yeah there we go look at him he is a gorgeous handsome boy he looks so good doesn't he look good you guys in that tan Oh, I love it. Look at the shoes and everything. So cute. Everything goes so well together. Thank you for this outfit, Amanda, if you watch this video. And thank you all who um, watch this video and all who participate in uh, Thread Thursdays. I'd appreciate it. Next week's color is going to be pink, you guys. We're going to do pink next week. Any shade of pink. Whatever pink you have. I don't care if it's dark or light. Whatever shade you have. Actually, I wonder. Yeah, let's just say pink pink whatever you want to do for a shade of pink will be fine and uh that will be the next threads thursday color is pink and i know many of you guys will have pink all right tucker's gonna blow you guys a kiss Mwah! he loves all his aunties and uncles all his grandmas and grandpas out there all of his little cousins i love you guys as well Mwah! 
But remember that God loves you the most. He loves you the most. And even though we go through trials and tribulations and hard times and ask God why, know that he is always there. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. And he's always getting us through it. If he brought us to it, he will get us through it. Just continue to keep your faith and continue to pray. I love you guys very much. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload.